I spit grease when heated like goose fat. Put moose knee on a map like John Cheech did moose fat. Used to move sacks, now I move tracks like the Polar Bear Express. Next snap like new traps. I'm too real when I'm rolling my raps. Cause my Achilles heel is I don't know how to hug. I stare deep into the darkness around me. Smell the cedar boughs beneath heat surrounds me. I hear the hiss of water turn to mist. I take a deep breath so hot it burns my lips. Mix the dough that y'all know. I'm the chief when I'm at home. Yeah, that's right. Hold my hand up high. Screaming native pride. Ain't no lie. I just wanna see all my natives rise. You can catch me in the kitchen cooking fried bread on my own. Mix the dough that y'all know. I'm the chief when I'm at home. Yeah, that's right. Wajay, well, my name is Chris Sutherland, a.k.a. Shabastic. I'm a proud member of the Moose Cree First Nation. I was born in Moose Factory. I grew up in Moosonee across the river. I'm a proud hunter, but I'm also an MC and a workshop facilitator. I produce hip-hop music, and I'm a painter. So I've been traveling around North America for the past while uh, doing workshops with uh, mostly Indigenous youth, but also audiences of all ages and backgrounds, high schools, universities. So uh, very proud to be here today. Now I'm from the Moose River, me, man. Shotgun on the side of the e it wasn't until I, I was getting into college when I started really doing hip-hop and performing, but I, I still didn't think I was going to become a musician. It was just like a pastime, something for fun. And uh, I was doing a coffee house in Moose Factory at the Deco Lodge back in the day. And I performed some of my music there, and um, after the show, an elder from the community came up and shook my hand and just looked me in the eye and thanked me, and, and just thanked me for my music and what I was doing with my lyrics. And I thought that was so cool to have an elder. I know she wasn't a hip-hop fan, you know, someone who's into hip-hop, but she thought my music was something important. We're all connected by the red rivers, our blood shit. Still a long way to go, this path is my best friend. No pad is the sand, my walking stick is my pen. No reason to boast, I bleed for the coast. No need for a goat, those treaties are broke. Deep eat a roast, I'm deep in the smoke. Shotgun in the reeds in a boat, I hunt when I need the one road. Don't think as a roam and wander, I'm lost. My name is Sean Morso, also known as Sean Skies. I also go by the name Native Pool Boy. I make hip hop music and I also make comedy online. Hi there. I am indigenous. I've always loved music and uh, kind of always dabbled in writing and just had a passion for, you know, expressing myself, whether it be music or just acting or anything, right? So I think it was about probably about the beginning of this year, 2021, when I kind of started taking my music career really seriously after getting some music on the radio and just like seeing how, how my music can impact others. So. I've been through a lot of ups and downs and I've had a lot of rocky roads in my life and I feel like the best way for me to express that is just to write about it and uh, whether it be just like poetry or music or whatever you know writing out writing down comedy skits even um, I find that writing is just a good way for me to express myself just all my emotions I'm a very emotional guy you know so I carry that with me and I'm not afraid to say it so Listen, uh, I'm about to weave rough I've been cooped up in my head, I've been feeling corrupt what? I've been trying to make a move, so I'll tell you what's up That I still keep it smooth, just like maple syrup Like we've been here creating for years Like our indigenous ancestors have been creating art And doing these things for generations And I feel like now is just a time where we're just kind of expanding it With like today's technology We're able to kind of collaborate with each other, you know, overseas even you know, all the way across Canada, we can collaborate with these other Indigenous artists, which is amazing. You know, even though we haven't met each other in person, we're still able to, you know, network and share our share our knowledge with each other. Give you everything I had, and you gave it all back, so I had to kick you out my lane. You've been on my mind all night. I think about you all day. I just need to get you on my way. I can't do this anymore. I don't care what you say. Like I said, I can't believe it's gone this long and I can't see it stopping anytime soon. But I'm just very honored. Sometimes it does feel weird. You know, some people don't consider it a job. You know, some people do. Um, some people really respect it and some people look down on it, you know, so it's, but it's, I've learned to just not worry about what other people think. Like I said, when people compliment me, it, if they say, oh, I love the song, I love the way that sounded, whatever, that's, that's cool. I, I, I appreciate that, but when, it, when people Give me these comments about how uh, they were thanking me for what I'm doing for, for my people, that kind of thing. That kind of validation is when uh, 
I feel really rewarded. And Seeing the outcome, like the final product, everything finished, you know, it's like really, really like kind of gets me moving and gets like my blood flowing, I guess you could say. I'm really excited when I like hear like that final product because I put a lot of work and a lot of time and investment into my music. It takes like probably like two months to have a song complete. And then I'm also like setting it back and forth between people and having it, all this work get done to it. So same thing with acting, you know, you put a lot of time and, you know, post-production and all that stuff and before you actually see the final product and when you see it, it's just like an amazing feeling. You get to see all your hard work done and paid off. And then not only that, just like the love and support you get from like fans and like people you don't even know like personally on a personal level that just kind of show you that support and it's wild and like I'm kind of new to it all still today and I, I get messages like every day like like hundreds of messages from people and like I wish I could respond to everybody but I can't and it's just like a phenomenal feeling that I never thought I would be in this position to you know feel that and it's very it's very heartwarming for sure. See you there. Are you tired of your man coming home smelling like a tug eye? Well, head on over to Res Mingle. We got an uncle for you. I like to dabble in a lot of different things. Like I write music, I write comedy skits, I act. I also have my own published book that you can find on Amazon. And um, I just do it all. Like I like to dabble in everything. And I want to, I just want to be known in life. That was my goal, just to be known for good things and have a legacy really, you know? So I really, I'm really, really trying. I'm really out here and uh, I don't just do music. That, that's, what, that's what I like to say. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning. Hey, cousin, you got a cigarette? I used to do a lot of pencil sketches. That's how I started with art, was just drawing with pencils. And um, I didn't get into painting until later on, but I think that was a good way to start because I really um, developed an eye for detail, I guess, like shading and all that with, with pencils. But it wasn't until high school where I, in class, where I had, like, kind of had to do a painting that uh, it just kind of came naturally. And uh, I got to give props to John Rubin, one of my good friend's fathers. He's an artist from Moussini, and he let me sit just one time and watch him paint. He was an acrylic artist. And he just let me watch him and I got the concept of how you layer it and how you just layer it and build it up and you know if you make a mistake you just cover it and once I saw that I was like you could paint anything anything you could see in your mind you can put it on the canvas if you just take the time like he made me he made that help me make that click you know it's just actually getting to see like the people listen to your music like face to face like you get to see the whole crowd you get to see them engaged with the music and engaged with with you as you know the artist and I feel like that's just you know captivating for me for sure but it's also like really really nerve-wracking like I get anxiety really bad before I go on stage and perform live but I guess that's you know normal for any kind of performing artist uh, you get those stage jitters and everything like that but also afterwards like you know you get off stage you get that you get that weight off your shoulders and that sense of you know self-accomplishment and it feels really really good just being on stage and having everyone watching me isn't something that that you know I, I i really enjoy that much it makes me nervous or i don't know what it is but uh i just like i said i feel like it's something i'm meant to do um i'm not an entertainer i'm a i'm a healer but i use my music and my craft and my art to, to, to help my people heal so for a long time i've actually felt really disconnected from my culture i'm not sure whether if it was just growing up and not being introduced to it by you know my parents or just being distant from it from my uh my community because I know my community is just you know has its own healing to do so I feel like I had to take it upon myself to kind of you know grab my culture and learn it myself and I feel music and just expressing my art is a good way to you know kind of introduce myself into my culture and there's so many so many horrible things the more you dig down to our history and learn the more angry you get but also that it helps you realize like this is why why we're like this. So that's why it's so important to talk about it. Um, that's why I, I touch on all these things in my music and my art, even though it's painful, you know, because I feel better after I do it. I, I let it out and I, and I encourage that with the, the people I work with too, using art and lyrics to let it out, to talk about these things. And now it's here instead of in here. Now it's, you know, and uh, we're never going to be healed over it. We're never going to get over it. 
we just have to learn to cope with it and, under, and understand all these things that happen to us. And uh, we need to forgive our parents and our grandparents for any things they, bad things they did to us because we understand now why. As I got older, I realized how blessed I was to have a father who, who took me out on the land and taught me our culture. And uh, it, it played such a big role in who I became as a man. It taught me about respect for things, hard work ethic, you know, you learn how to work hard on the land and all these things. So uh, I just, I'm so in love with my culture and I think it's such a powerful thing. And I'm also so angry as I grew up learning about all the work that was done to kill it, to kill our culture, you know, like. Come and change will break and raw wrist will be raising. I'm not gonna stand by, I'll not keep my hands tied, I'll not be kept quiet, silently watching the landslide. I'm not gonna let another river run dry. No, I'm not gonna let another river run dry. I'm not gonna stand by, I'll not keep my hands tied, I'll not be kept quiet, silently watching the landslide. I'm just really excited to see how it's becoming this big movement. Like when I started, native hip hop wasn't a thing, native, you know, wasn't a and it's become its own genre. It's become this, this, this really big, big genre with lots of artists, you know, and, it's, and we're getting heard outside of the native community too, which isn't that important. I don't really care myself, like it's cool, but I mean, it's, all, it's such an honor when you hear that other people are recognizing you and... Some of them, like the Snotty Nose Res kids for sure, they, uh, they definitely inspired me, a hip hop group just out of Vancouver there, just out of BC. Um, other, other people, like not even indigenous hip hop artists, or like, but just indigenous people in general, like uh, influencers, like a big one, I would say like John Trudell, you know, big poet, activist, you know, actor, everything, he's a writer. He's done so much for like our people and he's a big voice. So just people like that who have made such a big impact in our, our culture and our people. You know, I look forward, I look up to people like that and look forward to seeing more people like that. And I definitely want to be that type of role model for other people too. Artists who aren't just native and happen to be native, but their music is native content. And they're just talking from the native perspective and they're clearly talking to their people, you know? Like, um, those are the artists who really influenced me. Um, native rappers, I, I grew up, uh, MC Red Cloud is one of my favorites who now I tour with. Uh, Keys IMC, Superman, Dreezus, there's, there's, I don't want to start naming them because I'm going to leave somebody out. Artson, Anton Edwards. Uh, my group Weedham Boys, of course, is Red Cloud, Artson, and Anton Edwards are the three guys I tour with and who uh, I, I picked them for this initial tour because they were my, the guys I click with the most, you know, and I've toured with before. You know, I'm also making music just for anyone that, you know, needs to escape from their life, even if it's momentarily, even if, like, I'm making something that's just 30 seconds long. I hope, like, I can help you escape from your everyday life just for that 30 seconds and, you know, kind of find that peace and happiness in your in your life because I know everyone deals with struggles and problems and we all have uh, we all have obstacles in our way in life so if I can just you know make an impact on someone's day just even for like a moment you know that really really impacts me a lot so I was given an eagle feather when I was 16 years old and I was told that this made me an official Cree warrior you know by this elder because he thought I was using my art my art at the time I wasn't wrapping it but my art to fight for my people so ever since I got that feather I felt this pressure to uh, because it's more than just a music. Even to be called that a musician, I feel like I get what you're saying. I am a musician and an artist, but really, I'm a I'm a hunter and a warrior. And these are what I use. Like this, this is what I use to fight this war I'm fighting. Is my art and my music. Um, I would go crazy if I if I didn't feel like I was, you know, doing something about these things that bother me so much about all these, what happened to our people. No, uh, so many, so few people really know and understand, including ourselves. And some of the things they've told me about how it's affected them have been like, I could, I could stop now and I'd be happy with, with these things that have happened, you know? Like, but I, there's so much more I want to do. Like, I, I'm not going to stop even though I feel like I could. In isolation, they have no motivation. Drug addicted, you can see it on the faces. Came from poverty, everybody gossiping. Don't be afraid to kind of, you know, push yourself out of your limits and if you have to, you know, do the things that are that are gonna be hard, overcome obstacles. Be you and just be genuine and you know, good things will come. This world's gonna tell you to, to be lots of things, you know, and you just have to be you. You're 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 you. There's something special about 
about you, about every, every one of you. There's something. Uh, understand you're never alone. The Great Spirit is always with you, always listening, always watching. And it is a part of you. You are Great Spirit as well. And talk to your ancestors. They're, they're listening, always. You're never alone. And they're praying for you. Gonna feel alright. I've been feeling too gone. Time to put my mood on underneath the moonlight. We're gonna feel alright. Girl, tell me what to say. Cause I've been feeling strange and I don't know your name. War makes war, peace makes peace. Hate makes pain and love makes it cease. War makes war. Peace makes peace, hate makes pain and love makes it cease.